Hey everyone, today I'm going to be taking you through 3D Gravity. So this is extending off the tutorial I've already uploaded, um, which is just basic 3D setup. So yeah, this is just extending off that. Um, so if you haven't seen that yet and you don't already know how to set up the um, camera and draw the 3D model or any of that stuff, go back and watch that and then come to this tutorial. Okay, getting started. Um, first thing I did was, I'll zoom in a bit here, you can see I've moved the camera down to the bottom of the room and around the center, okay, um, ignore the happy face, that's fine for now, but yeah, for now, I've moved the camera down to the bottom of the room, um, just start with that, okay, so, um, I've made a new sprite, it's called Sprite Block, and it's just a plain white 32 by 32 sprite. Um, that's centered as well. That, that doesn't matter too much. Yeah, um, these are my textures from the previous tutorial. As I said before, if you don't know how to do this stuff, go back and watch that first. Okay, in the camera from the last tutorial, I had the movement in this. Instead, I've taken away that and I've I've like literally just cut and paste that movement into the block object instead. As you can see here. Okay, um, ignore the rest of that code for now, because we need to set up a few things before we go through that. Alright, um, and then I've got a new object called Object Platform in here. And um, that's uh, a exact duplicate of the object block, except um, I took away all the movement and I just left in the, um, the bit where it draws a model and uh, added in this variable called ZTop and set that to 32 because the model is 32 pixels high as seen in the draw event here. You can see 32 there. Alright, so that's pretty much all just from the previous tutorial um, except, as I said before, this uh, ZTop variable is there. Okay, so make sure you add that otherwise this will not work. Okay, um, what we're using the ZTop variable for is um, the top of the platform so that we know how high the platform is and we use that variable to land on top of it. Okay, um, and now we'll go into the block where we've got a gravity setup. Okay, so in the create event I've added a few new variables. So it started off with pretty much just that. Um, I now have these variables here. So the first one is called grav, that is um, our gravity falls, uh, 0 0.5 as I normally use in my 2D platformers as well. Um, Z speed is um, our, well so Z speed, if you've ever used a variable H speed or B speed you'll kind of get what I'm going at there. Um, yeah it's just a speed variable so uh, that's set to zero to start off with. Um, min Z is for minimum Z, so that is the lowest um, Z value that we can go. So that's set to zero because that's where the floor is. Um, Z is our current Z, uh, that's set to zero as well because we want to be starting off on the floor. Um, JMP is our jump um, power variable, uh, set that to eight, and then SPD um, is for speed, and that's eight as well. So that um, SPD value is our um, movement speed, so how fast we can move. Alright, so in here, as a step event, we have um, the extreme basics of, of um, gravity. So the first thing you want to do is check how high you are off the ground. Okay, so in this it's if um, Z is higher than min Z. Um, something I should explain first, I guess, is um, the Z axis. So in a 2D game you have your X and Y axis, which is why a game maker has to build in variables X and Y. When it goes to 3D games, however, you get the extra one which is called Z. Um, so X and Y then goes to um, horizontal axes, so that would be like the um, forward and horizontal axis, whereas um, X is forwards and backwards and Y is um, left and right axis. Um, and then Z is up and down in the um, 3D space. So, which is why we're using 
like z variables to control our gravity. Okay, so in this case, if our z variable, so is our height, is higher than our minimum z, then we're off the ground. So z speed plus equals gravity. So what that's doing is, as long as we're off the ground, um, our z speed is going to have our gravity variable added to it. So for each step that's off the ground, um, 0 0.5 will be added to the um, z speed's value. Okay. Um, and then just below that you have z minus equals z speed. So what that does is um, has makes it so our z speed affects our um, our height. So <coughs> excuse me. In every step, um, z takes away the um, z speed from it. So say our z was 10. Um, so that's 10 uh, pixels in the air. Then um z speed would like be minus from that, so our z speed might be five. So um ten minus five is five. You know, you, you get the idea. It pretty much just takes away the z speed from the z, which then affects our height. Okay, so um if z is lower or equal to min z, z speed equals zero, z equals min z. So what we're doing here is if we are lower or equal to the ground's height. Um, we set our z speed to zero so that um, we're not going to be falling or anything anymore. Then we set our z to our minimum z, which is zero. So, yeah, it pretty much just makes it so you land on the ground and you stay there. You don't move through the ground. Okay, um, then we have a jumping. If keyboard check vk space z speed equals minus jump. Now I've actually made a bit of an error here with this code. Basically, if you hold down space, you're going to get absolutely launched into the air. So I'm going to add into this um, if keyboard check for space and z is equal to min, min z. So this checks to make sure that we're on the ground. Then we can jump. If we're not on the ground, we don't want to be able to jump again. Unless you're doing something like a double jump, but in this case, it's not going to work. Okay, um, then that's just the movement code from the previous tutorial. I've just copied and pasted that in there. Um, assuming that you went through the other tutorial, you should already, you should already have that. Um, and then this is where we land on our uh, platforms. So there I, um, I standing for instance, equals instance nearest x, y object platform. So what this does is it takes the nearest platform object and saves that object's ID to the variable i. That's a temporary variable, so as soon as this um, like block of code ends, um, i will not be accessible again. So in, you can't use it in, say, like a draw event or something like that. Okay, if place meeting x, y, i, so if um, we're currently in contact with... Um, the closest platform object that we got up here, and um, our z is higher or equal to eyes.zTop, so that's 32. Remember, we set that in the um, platform object. So if our z is higher or equal to 32, then min z equals i.zTop. So we're setting min z to 32. And as you should remember from just above, we can't move below min z because. We made it so we couldn't do that up here. So where z is lower or equal to min z, z speed equals zero, and z equals min z. Down here we're changing our min z to 32, so our um, lowest z value that we can go is then 32 instead of zero. Um, if it's not meeting, min z equals zero. So that sets it back to the ground height, which means we can fall back down. And the rest is done automatically. That is all it takes for gravity to work. That will make it so you can jump and also land on an object. But if you run the game like that, you'll notice that you'll be able to move through the platforms when you're like when you're not standing on them, you'll be able to walk straight through them. For that we'll make a simple collision event and um check whether it uh we're above it or not. So if our z is higher or equal to others or z dot, which is thirty two then we exit this um, function and we don't collide. So we're on top of it, we don't want to be colliding with the object because we're on top of it, so we want to be able to kind of like move through it. Um, 
all collisions in Game Maker, they're not 3D collisions, it's all based off the sprites that you use, which is why we had to make the sprite SVR block and put that on both the block and the platform object, because that allows for us to check collisions between the two objects, because um, it requires the collision marks from the sprite. Okay, um, anyway, so assuming that we're not high or equal to 32 and like colliding with the object then x equals x previous and y equals y previous so we're just resetting our x and y back to our previous x and y before we hit the object and that is it um, all the draw code is still the same as last time hang on I take that back it's not okay um in the last tutorial instead of um, it being z plus 32 it was just 32 and instead of z it was 0 so, as you might have just picked up then, you need to add in the Z plus in front of the 32, and you need to add in the Z instead of the 0. Okay, so, if you don't fully understand this yet, basically what this does is, instead of the um, bottom of the block being drawn at 0, it gets drawn at our Z value, which by default is 0, but if we jump, we don't want to have the block stretch out. So, yeah, it, this starts the bottom of the object at our Z position. Okay, and then by going Z plus 32, it draws the top of the object 32 pixels above our current Z position. So, it maintains the 32 by 32 square, no matter how, how high we are, just using our Z position. Um, I can't really explain that any better. Hopefully you understand it. If you have any questions, just ask me. Um, in the comment section below. But yeah, now that is it. Okay, so yeah, that's how you make gravity. So I'll just show you how this runs. Um, what I've done is I've used the smiley face here is made of the object platform objects, and then just in here there's this extra white square. Um, that is my object block object. That one right there. Okay, and then um, as I said at the start of the tutorial, I move my camera down to the bottom of the screen so that way when I move it's not confusing because um, we're moving as you would on a 2D game. It doesn't take in like the camera's direction or anything like that, so it can get a little hard to do if you don't do it that way. Okay, but um, yeah, once you've got all that, uh, feel free to save your game um, and then hit run. Okay, as you can see here, I have the two lines of platforms from the eyes. Um, my player object is movable, and the camera follows that around. Okay, um, colliding works. So I hold down right, and you see I hit those. I can't move through them. I hit space, and I jump. As you can see there, so I'm jumping up, and when I hit the min Z, which is zero at the moment, I stop. Okay, so when I jump and move over these um, platforms, my min Z will be set to 32, which is the top of those, and I won't be able to move below that. As you can see there, I'm now standing on top of the platforms, and if I walk off, I fall back down to the ground. So, um, not too hard, as long as like you kind of understood what I was going through there. Uh, as I said, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment box below, or feel free to send me a message via the Facebook page. Um, if you have tutorial suggestions, either send me a message on YouTube, leave a comment, or contact me via the Facebook page. And um, if I know how to do it, then I'll I'll make a tutorial on it. So um, hopefully this helps you guys out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.